Bear with us one second. Thank you for your patience. Hey, sorry, sorry we didn't finish the discussion. What is your name? Right, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I need to go down. <laughs> Bear with us one second. Wait, I wanna go and I wanna go and jump in on his conversation. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in on his conversation. Coming back, yeah? Yeah. I will come back and do a talk. No problem. Yeah, 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 no problem. I'd love to see the context as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you mind if I don't want to be recorded? Oh, it's okay. Don't put yeah, don't don't put him on, on him, please. Thank don't, you, thank you. Don't put the camera on him. He doesn't want to be recorded. Thank you. So just film us. So I'm going to shoot from the back. On my, my channel. Yeah, 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 I'll give it to you. Uh, from the back. From the yeah. Back. Okay. If you're going to film, record from the back so these guys are on camera. Thank you. That's my channel. What do you think? Christianity, right? Yeah, Christianity. Yeah. Do you, if you want to talk, we can go over there and talk. Yeah. Do you want to talk? Okay. So where are we going, bro? Let me get my Bible. No, because he he was qualifying uh, he was qualifying prophets in a sense of um, if they go to war, if they do this, they can't be a prophet. No, and I was no, saying, no, no, no. And I was you, telling you, you Moses. I was no, telling you, Moses. Don't put a word in my mouth. Are you gonna switch it now? Right. No, you 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 it. say what you, you say what he said, and then I'll listen to what he said. Okay. Yeah. So okay. you say first what he said, okay, okay, and then let him say what he said. You said. Sorry, I was like, wait, wait, hold on. I'm not gonna be here long because he has to go. Yeah, I understand. Sorry. Yeah. Um, okay. So we were talking about prophethood, and you had a problem that Prophet Muhammad went to war, and the fact that war was mentioned in the Quran, you believe was was a bad thing, right? Or am I wrong? No, go on, go on. Just, okay, just and then uh, I was like, well, do you believe as Moses, as your prophet, you said yes. And I asked you, did you know that in the Bible, he went to war and killed women and he killed kids and he only left, uh, uh, not verbatim, but like uh, little girls who did not see a man, like young girls. That's in the Bible. What did you say? I'm done. That's my statement. Oh, you're done. done. Okay, yeah. first of all, we are not specifically talking about prophets go to say no, no, he's talking about numbers one. That's yeah. Moses out of anger doing it. God didn't command yeah. it. It's about, it's about, about taking young right. girls. He only commanded the war. Which one? Yeah. Moses went one step. Which one gives sense? Am I right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then all those things came around. About, yeah. Okay. So what I what, what I was saying is, I was saying about. I, I give you an example that you you believe that scientifically the Quran is have more sense than the Bible. Yeah, that's your claim. And I told you, I told you before I have a knowledge about Christianity, even if I'm Christian from from my families. Yeah. Okay. I had the chance to see about the Quran about Islam, so I found many many shocking verses. Actually, I am. I was invited by a Muslim friend. Yeah. Okay. So I found many, many shocking verses, and then I, I told you about the life of Muhammad, about what he did in his lifetime. Okay. This, 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 this. He did this thing. For, it's shocking. It's very difficult to swallow it for me. Correct. So yeah. I compared the Bible and the Quran by seeing the verses, by reading the books, not not scientific evidence yeah. not someone saying that it gives sense to someone can, can let him finish what he's saying because yeah. i'm listening yeah. wait no well if you're going to jump in i'm going to jump in because i've got something to say never, can you can you finish brother brother finish what you're okay. saying so yeah, yeah. so wait hold on just for the look, context of the discussion yeah, 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 yeah. i think i'm going to have to leave my, but my this brother was here so can he can, continue can, can, I, can i just leave you with one thought though yeah, yeah sure which is that when I when we invite you to Christianity, yeah. we're inviting you to become a disciple of Christ. Okay. When you invite us to Islam, you invite us to become a disciple of Muhammad, which means that we have two ways that we can build our lives. Yeah. On the example of Muhammad yeah. or on the example of Jesus. Yeah. And when we Im imbibe the, the spirit and the teachings of Christ, yeah. one of our core values becomes peace building. Yeah. Yeah. If we imbibe uh, the spirit and teachings of Muhammad, then one of the core values becomes domination and conflict. And so this is because I actually, when I was considering Islam, yeah. it's, it's no word of a lie, just like this, brother. 
One of the, the, the reason why I rejected Islam when I was thinking about it yeah. and became Christian yeah. is because I found things about Muhammad that I just choked on, mm -hmm. right? And, and I, I recognized that I saw a better example in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't mean that Christians are committed to pacifism, yeah. right? You know, if, 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 if someone tried to hurt your child, yeah. I'd lamp them, yeah, right? Yeah, to yeah. protect course, your kid, course, yeah. right? Because that's what a good person does yeah. to protect the innocent. Yeah. But in the example of Muhammad, what we find is that Muslims are incited to wage war against the unbeliever just because they're... Who's this? Uh, it's his. Huh? Just, just blur out his face. You yeah, caught his camera on. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So, so that that's what we're trying to communicate. Yeah. We're not saying we're not when we invite you to read the Bible. We're not saying become a disciple of Moses. Yeah. We're not telling you be like Moses. Yeah. We're saying be like Jesus. Yeah. And and that's the, the example. Can I say something? Yeah, of course. Jesus was a, a great exemplar yeah. of a prophet. Uh, I would say Muhammad. Muhammad was also Muhammad was different challenges that than Jesus was, and. Also, we both believe that Jesus is a Messiah, right? Yes. When Jesus comes back, will he come back in peace or war? Okay, so as a Christian, I believe that there's two ways that Christ could come back. Okay. One is that the church is successful in its mission and Christ returns in peace. Mm -hmm. One is that the church fails in its mission and Christ returns in war. Ah. Right? No, I, exactly. I never said I was a pacifist. Yeah. Right? But the reason why Christ returns in war is because the world is in league with the Antichrist. The world is in league with Satan, mm -hmm. right? I believe as a Christian, one of the ways to identify who is in league with Satan is to ask myself, who denies the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ? Yeah. Muhammad denied the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And so like others that have been influenced by demons, Muhammad teaches the doctrine of demons. We don't believe that. so. Just, yeah. just uh, yeah, of course, go on. I, I don't think there's a shout in debate. I, I, no, it's I really a respectable debate. Yet. Yeah, so I believe in terms of Satan in particular, yeah, yeah, we as Muslims speak out against Satan. I, our day to day practice doesn't involve us praying to Satan, we pray to, to God, to yeah. God alone. And as you know, Jesus spoke Aramaic, so the way he called what we call Allah, they called uh, Allah or some, something similar. Yeah, um, we do nothing that. Uh, uh exemplifies or honors satan in any sort of way yeah um in terms of antichrist you do understand that prophets that came before christ didn't believe in this doctrine of christianity also they believed in what we call tawhid which is the oneness of of god that he doesn't begot he doesn't he doesn't beget sorry uh forgive me and um you know doesn't I mean, split into parts and yeah whatnot, right? the truth is bro if we if we had time yeah i would be able to show you that all of the Old Testament prophets believed that there were a, a multi, a divine persons, not just a divine person. I agree. Right? I, I could agree. show you in the Old Testament that Abraham believed in multiple divine persons. Isaiah believed in multiple divine persons. David believed in multiple divine persons. Uh, Moses believed in multiple divine persons. And I can show you that all from the Old Testament. Now, the point is, right, saying that you believe in one God is nothing special. Iblis, Shaitan, he believes in one God. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, he's arrested. Sorry. Right. Yeah. No, I know, I understand. He's young. Yeah. Right? Like, Shaitan believes in one God. So there's nothing special about saying you believe in one God. Yeah. What's important is that for us, what we're saying is you need to encounter that one God. You need to experience that one God. You need to submit your life to that one God. Muslims don't do that because the, the, the teachings and the doctrines of Muhammad actually conflict with the teachings of the Messiah. Like, you, you believe Jesus is the Messiah. Correct. But I've asked every Muslim that I can in this park, they can't explain to me what a Messiah is or why a Messiah is special. So a Messiah yeah. is somebody, he's the anointed one. Yes. Yeah? And um, Jesus is an exclusive in that. Like King David was also a Messiah in a sense as well. But David, and which yeah. is mentioned in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. And on, uh, uh, sorry, go on. No, I was just going to say, but in the Quran, only Isa is called Messiah. Of course, yeah. Right. So that means that there's something special about Isa that makes him the Messiah. So it can't be the fact that he's anointed. I mean, according to your doctrine he had he had a purpose like every prophet has a purpose yeah and jesus is one of like the main prophets 
So he has his own purpose as the Messiah. It doesn't mean he's God. And if you know in the Bible, there's there's plenty of people that were referred to as the sons of God. Yeah. You know, plenty of people. Um, even uh, I don't know if this is uh, correct verbatim, but King Solomon was even said exclusively, "You are my son. I have forgotten you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. King. So, so he had a son. Yeah, but. Yeah. Um, uh, it doesn't mean that King Solomon is now the one that we should worship. No, no, no. You know, and if, exactly. If, and if it's based on, for example, the fact that there was a virgin birth, yeah. why don't we worship Adam? Adam had no mom so, and no dad. So Christians, do, right, so let me just address that because yeah. you've used a classic Quranic argument there. Okay, yeah, yeah. That verse of the similitude to of Isa is that unto Adam. Yeah. Allah only says to it, be it, it becomes, right? And But but Muslim Dawagandists have lied to you if they have taught you that the reason why Christians believe we should worship Jesus is because he has a virgin birth. That is not why we honor Christ as divine. Okay. We honor Christ as divine because when we read the whole of the New Testament, we see Jesus claims the divine titles to himself. We see that Jesus does the works only of God. We see that Jesus claims the throne of God for himself. We see that Jesus um, um, is is the one who claims to be divine and 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 because he embraces he does the works of god he claims the titles of god he speaks the words of god he does the actions of god all, all of these things is why we see him as divine that's why we worship him mm -hmm. right it's got nothing to do with his virgin birth that isn't why we think he's okay, divine okay understood. understood the reason why we think he's divine is because that fulfills prophecy okay. the prophecy was in Isaiah, that a young maid, which young maids are normally born as children, like course, usually yeah, yeah, version, yeah, yeah. but a young maid will have a child and you will call his name Emmanuel. Now, in the time of Isaiah, there would have been a young maid who wasn't a virgin, who had a child, who called their child Emmanuel. But try that, that is, a, that is a, a foreshadowing of what would come because Mary was a young maid and she gave birth to a son and call and and we call him Emmanuel. Every single year, Christians call Jesus Emmanuel, mm -hmm. and Emmanuel means literally God with us. Mm -hmm. and that's why. And and the the virgin birth is a sign. Mm -hmm. It's a sign to the. Te it's a sign declaring that this is not an ordinary child. Mm -hmm. That's what the virgin birth does. It declares that this isn't an ordinary child. So I, I will agree with you if that Jesus was God. They were the Jewish peasants of the community. Yeah. And they were seen as kind of, they were they were uh, rushed out of the community because they didn't agree with what the Greeks, uh, I only learned this because I taught, uh, I, I learned comparative uh, religion. religion. So Ebionites, uh, they didn't believe that Jesus was God and they believed in similar to a Muslim ritual ablution and they uh, upheld the laws of the Torah. And then later on, because the, the story of Jesus resonated with other stories that were in the area, I can't remember the name, but it started with C, but there was another guy at the same time as Jesus from the Roman Empire who died, went back to life, and then was given divine status. Yeah. There's plenty of stories like this. So, so, let me so Jesus let me was one of them. Um, this is my closing remark, okay, but yeah. I'll, I'll allow you yeah, to yeah. No, no, to please, follow me because yeah. I have to go because yeah. my son's a bit restless. Yeah, of course. But, um, if you text, if you check the, the the actual text of the Bible, when it was written, uh, and like the scribes and so everybody had an agenda when when things were written. Yep. Then you will find that there's a lot of flaws in the Bible. There's echoes of the truth in it. Yeah. I I won't deny that there's no echoes of the truth in the Bible, but the way we identify that in the Quran is like which one adds up because wherever you find in the Bible, you'll find it. If you find, if you want to find that Jesus is not God, you'll find it. If you okay. want to find that Jesus is God, you'll find it. So, if you want to find that um, prophet should go to war, you'll find it. If you so find let that me, you let me, let me find reply. It. But that's my closing okay. remark. But okay. I, I'll end off. With I, 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 let me reply because I want you. You've raised a number of points. Yeah. It'll take me about five minutes to get through them, and then we can. Wait, it's, it's all right. Sorry. Yeah. We, 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 it took me about five minutes to get through them. Go ahead. It won't take me. It might even take me less. Yeah. So my first point is to say that, well, all of the prophets came with a special mission, mm. but they're not all called. What are you doing? Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Always, always with the violence. Relax. What? Well, every week you start violence. Every week you start violence. 
Every week you start violence. Police! Every single, every single week. All the time, man, huh? Every single week. He attacked me last week. He's, he keeps attacking a woman. I'm having a discussion with... Yeah, oh, so I'm sorry about that. No worries. Man. But I thought it was going to really kick off, and it will kick off. That's I'm afraid. Fine. Get him on. Get him on. Yeah, he was in. He was insulting a woman. Her brother stuck up for him, right? So, yeah, apologies. Yeah, yeah. You okay? Oh, he's yeah. taking the fire out of him. Yeah. He's doing so well. Went to Wonderland. We'll yeah, get him out I, right. Or, I will yeah. be very quick because he's he's rubbing his hands yeah, and he's look, cold. At the end of the day, yeah. yeah. It's, it's about. He might like it. I don't know. He's not. He's not what really. Is it halal? Like, it's, uh, yeah, it's vegan. It's vegan. Oh, so yeah, it'll be halal. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate that though. Yeah. So, Thanks. so very quickly, and then we'll stop. Yeah. Because yeah. then you want to will go and enjoy Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland. Yeah. Right. So very quickly, first thing, yeah, is that all of the prophets came with a special revelation. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not all called Messiah. So clearly, I don't, I don't think that that works as an argument. We still got to ask why was Jesus called Messiah? But I'll, I'll leave that to one side. Secondly. I know a lot about the Ebionites. I studied religion at university. I studied comparative religion. Oh, good, good. Got a good degree in it, right? From the best department at the time. Okay, good. Right? And, and, and the Ebionites, I'm not going to say, and the Ebionites, right? You're right. They didn't believe that Jesus was divine. They, built, they thought he was a human. Yeah. But what they actually believed is that when he was baptized, he was adopted as God's son and elevated to the position of deity. They yes. they denied yes. they denied the virgin birth. Yes, they did. Yeah. yeah. They they deny, but they accepted that Christ was crucified, yeah. and that he was resurrected. So the Ebionites are in no way an early Muslim community. Oh yeah. No, right? yeah don't, no, let, no, let, let me finish. Talk. Let, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah. So the the so I didn't claim this. Yeah. But yeah so, sorry. so the Ebionites Ebionites were a group that were that were not Christian. But they were more Christian than they were Muslim, right? Uh, okay, and, yeah. and they believed in the divinity of Christ, but they believed that he was elevated to divinity, which is obviously nonsense, and we both reject that idea. Yeah, because that's but there stupid. Was a, that was there was a lot of Jews. God can't like, create a god. Yeah, but there was a lot of Jews at the time, uh, and a lot of pagan. Like it was a belief at the time that, like, through certain acts, you, your your status can be elevated. And at the time, with for example, the Roman Empire. Uh, whoever the em whoever the emperor was, yeah. they were elevated to a, to a sign of divinity, yeah. um, almost because of their status. So it's not uncommon that that would happen. So the emperor, you're definitely right. The Romans had this idea that people could be elevated to the position of God, yeah. and the Ebionites show clear influence that they were influenced by Greco-Roman ideas because they adopted that idea and applied it to Jesus. Yeah. Christians, however, yeah. never believed that. Yeah. Christians have always believed that from his conception, yeah. Jesus was God. Okay. Right now, you're a lovely yeah, go. young. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. yeah. Nice What's your name, bro? Burhan. Can I give you a gift? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'd like to give you a gift. Is this a Bible? Yeah. I already have one. I, I would like to give you a different gift then. Okay, okay. If that's all right. A different book. Yeah. Just because, you know, anyone that has a respectful conversation with me. I, I just look, it's, everything's a dialogue for discussion. I'll read your sources. Thank and you. I, and I hope that, you know, like you can read others as well. I do, I do yeah. often. But yeah, I'll give you a very quick book. Bear with us one second. Thank you for your patience. Hey, sorry, sorry we didn't finish the discussion. What is your name? Right, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I need to go down. <laughs> Bear with us one second.
Because this is going to kick off. Right, we need to, yeah, we need to start going policing. Is, is it time to leave? No, no, we need to. Yeah, yeah, tell them. Tell them. Tell the Muslims that. Tell the Muslims that. Tell the Muslims that. Yeah, he attacks people every single week in this bar. Yeah, yeah, go get them. Yeah, they won't do anything. They'll never do anything. Yeah, tell the Muslims that. Tell the Muslims that. Tell the Muslims that. It's getting lively is what is happening. What happened just now? So basically the, the guy that comes in every week and he attacks people. Every single week, the, the, the same Muslim comes in with a bad attitude and he attacks people every single week. And he's, he, he was harassing a woman and a Christian brother stuck up for it and he's come back and he's attacked again. He attacks people every single week. There's countless examples of him being caught on camera attacking people. The police never do anything, right? Christians, no one is protecting us, so we've got to protect ourselves. Yeah. It's that simple. That's right. You've got to protect yourself, because no one is no one is seeking to protect us. The police sit over there, and then they come in and they don't do anything. Right? So, guys, you got to stay close to one another. You got to look out for one another. I'm on my own, and I die on my own. And and as Christians, we need to try and protect one another. Sorry. I'm not, I was going to take that now anyway. So. There you go. There shouldn't be. Like, the whole point of Speaker's Corner, I agree. So go and tell him that. Sorry. Yes, and the Muslims gang up on people in this park every single week. Muslims gang up on people in this park every single week. Yeah. Yeah, notice how they've suddenly got a sense of justice. When Muslims are ganging up on Christians, they've never got anything to say about it. Can I ask you a question before you leave? Yeah. In, in your time in the park, how long have you been coming here? I've been coming here about six years. Right, and in your time in the park, how many violence has this seen? I, I, it's got to the point where it's every single week. It's every single week. It's every single week. And who would you say is responsible for that? M Muslims, there's, a, there's a, a small number of Muslims that bring violence to this park every single week. It's not all of them, but there's certain characters that just come here, they're not suited to being here, and they attack people every single week. It's not hard for the police to identify who they are. Where are the police now? The police are down there, running away and being afraid, of course. Like every single week, uh, someone is getting attacked in this park. Uh, Hatun Tash stabbed. Yeah. Um, females being uh, sexually abused in this park. Yeah. Uh, this goes on the north. Yeah. People followed out of the park, intimidated. So, so this is the point. Yeah. This is the point. What's the point? Is that is that when you stand up to yourself, the Muslims get offended. Yeah. But when they're bullying you, attacking you, harassing you, they've never got anything. They, they, there's no condemnation. They all seem to attack in numbers. Yeah. They never attack on one. They do. One. They never attack one on one. I've, I've noticed that with them. Yeah. And if they do, they've got a bay in it. They can't have an old fishy cup. So, I mean, I've got to watch. I got, I, I'm having to watch my back now. No, no, like, watch your back, don't thank you. So, yeah. now that that excitement is over, okay. let's try and get back to some intelligent conversation and yeah, debate. I want. Because that's what this corner is supposed to be about. Right. It's supposed to be about intelligent conversation. Because of Islam. And it's it, unfortunately because of some Muslims, not all of them. I want to state that. Because yes. you just saw me on camera have a really nice conversation yeah. with a really intelligent Muslim. Did. Right? Yeah. So it's not the case. We mustn't, we mustn't, we must be careful. Yeah. But there are just some Muslims who come to this park and they can't handle the park. Right? right? And that guy that attacks people every single week, yeah. he can't be here.